Hello, this is the Airmo 5180V, which is a 20 inch mower, all in this box. So what I'm gonna do is open the box, take everything out, show you how to put it together and how to make a wonderful job of cutting your lawn. So here we have it, everything that we need to get the air mow up and running. So we've got the batteries here, two 40 volt batteries and the two fast chargers. We've got all the nuts and the bolts that you need. We've got the handles that need to be fitted to it. And there's also a transportation wheel at the back. So I think what we'll do first is get the, the handlebars up and running and then we can get the batteries in and put the transportation on. So first what we need to do is to take off these protective ends. You'll notice that these are on there, these pl white plastic ends. That's just to stop any damage and scratching occurring when it's in transit. And then we've got these two fittings just here with an R-clip in and this end screws off. We don't need to take that off at this stage, but we do need to take out the R-clip. So if I just come round to this side of the mower, this is the, the lower part of the handlebar and I'm gonna slot that in there between these two plastic lugs and then the thick end here will push through and we can see then we've got the hole and what we need to do is to put in the R-clip like that, push that down and that holds that firmly in place and then I just need to repeat that around the other side making sure that that is like that. So that's now firmly in place. So we can lift that up like that. When you are fitting the lower part of the handle, make sure you put the piece on this side where you've got this plastic bracket with the hole that goes right the way through because that is an important piece that we'll come to in a minute. And then we've got the top section that will go onto it. And again, we've got two fittings just here. So we've got the red knob and a bolt that goes down through the center and a black curved plastic washer as a spacer. So if we take that apart like that, and then it's a case of getting the top part of the handle, and you're probably just gonna need a little bit of help with this. It's one of these jobs where you need three hands. If I could just ask Gareth just to hold that for me like that. So we're just gonna push the bolt through, just give that a little bit of a wiggle. Okay, so the bolt goes through. Then we put on the plastic washer that's curved to fit the shape of the tube of the steel. And then we can spin that knob on like that. So then we're just going to repeat on this side. So we're just going to push that through there, making sure that that bolt fits on with the washer, the cushion, and then the red plastic knob. And then we just need to give them a good tighten like that so that we've got now a good solid handlebar there like that. When you've got all the handles nice and tight we can fit this which is called the upstop and this is just a small bracket that is used to hold the handles upright instead of having to lie them flat. So it's a very simple thing. And this is why it's important that we have the hole there next to this bracket. It's got a small nut on the end, so you will need a 10 millimeter spanner to tighten that. And it's just a case of weaving it through here. So this is the threaded end. I'm just gonna push it through there. It's just a little bit fiddly to start with and get it almost in position like that. And then bend it round the back and we're gonna put it through the hole just give it a bit of a wiggle like that until it pops through the hole and then we get the little nut on there and this is a um, locking nut so when we tighten it off it won't vibrate off and then just give that a bit of a tweak so that it's nice and secure and holding that bracket in place. And that is it, essentially. So if we let go of that, that will stay there. But if you want to alter that, then we can just literally do that so we can use that when we're operating the mower. But then when we want to lock it into the position, it will stand like that. 
And finally, just to finish putting the mower together, we've got the transportation wheels here, which are quite handy if you're trundling it in and out of a garage or a shed. So these can be taken off when you're actually using the mower. So we can just slacken off the red knobs a little bit on either side, and I'm gonna move out the washer. So the washer is at the side of the red knob. So I'm gonna do that on both sides, just slacken it off and move out the washer. And then we can take the transportation wheels here and they are literally going to hook over like that. And then we tighten it up. So really, really simple and fast to do. Just tighten that up like that. And then this has got a bracket here. It's got quick release clips on like that that fasten over that middle piece there. And finally, just on the transportation wheels, there's another wheel there, this red knob. So let's just tighten that up like that. So then we can use those, everything is rigid. And one last thing is I've got a cable clip just here. We've got the cable there just to stop that being damaged by flapping around that just clips over the handlebar and holds that securely in place. So that is it now put together. The only thing we need to do is to get the batteries in it so we can power it up. And we've got the batteries here. It comes with two batteries and two fast chargers. These are both 40 volt batteries we've got in the box just here. They come partly charged, but it's advisable to always charge them up fully before you put them in the mower and start working with it. So that is the battery there. It comes also with some instructions uh, on how to best care for it. And we've also got two chargers so that you can charge both of them at the same time. This is a fast charger. So very quick when you need to charge the batteries because you're in the middle of a mowing job. So there we go. And literally all we do with the batteries here They've got an indicator button there, so that will tell us how much charge they've got. They come partly charged, but as I say, we need to fully charge them. And then to put them in, they just sit on the cradle like that on the charger, click into position. You'll notice that we've got a green flashing light, and when the battery is fully charged, that will go a solid green and the red light will go out. And at that point, we know we can take the battery out and fit it into the mower we take them out when they're fully charged by releasing them like that. So get your batteries charged and then to put them into the mower it's very simple. Let me just get the other battery out of the box here and then we can put them in the mower and then we can start and do some mowing. So at the top of the mower here we have got our flap that we lift and this is where both of the batteries live in here. You can only put them in one way, so don't worry about getting them the wrong way, back to front or upside down. They both slot into position there like that. And then to engage them, we just push them down on the both click. One, two. To get them out, once they need recharging, we just simply, again, with that little red lever, just release them and out they pop. So it's as simple as that. And then we've also got a safety device with this key here, this red key. You can't start the mower without that in and on the on position. So just push it into the hole, put it to on, and then we can start it. And if you need to isolate the mower for whatever reason, um, for a while, you can just switch that off, take it out. And that means nobody can accidentally start the mower, but we need that in now to start. So lid down, what we'll do is lift it onto the grass and then we can show you the starting procedure. Well, the transport wheels do make it so much easier to manoeuvre, um, but obviously you can't mow with them there. So what you can do, of course, is to just slacken off this knob here, and then what that will do is lift them up and you can lock that into place like that. So you can, in theory, mow with the wheels still attached, but it adds to the weight of the mower and it also reduces the life of the battery, the mowing time, you'd have to charge it up more regularly. So. The best thing to do really is to take them off and it's really, really quick to take them off. It's just a reverse. We just got the two fast release clips here. So that will lift off like that. I just slacken that off there. And then literally 
all we need to do then here is to release the two red knobs either side and then this bracket will simply lift off and wheel away tighten those back up so they don't vibrate off and you lose them so take those off so that can now go to one side ready for when you need to put it away so to use the mower it's got no height adjustment on this mower uh, no wheels it just simply glides over the surface and what we can do is we can release the handle here at the moment it's in this rigid position but just to give us a little bit more movement like that we can release that so it makes it much much easier to use we've got a battery indicator button there so we can tell how much charge we've got in the batteries and to start the mower we push the red button in and then while that's depressed we pull back the red lever and that starts the motor so it's just simply a case of push that in start the motor and away we go And there you go, so that is the Airmo 5180V, ideal for flat ground on slopes, makes a really good job of mowing the lawn, so enjoy it. Remember to register your Cobra online at www.cobragarden.co.uk. Always have your Cobra serviced regularly, check the website for your nearest dealer.